Yeah. <laughs> I was up north and this little five-year-old girl comes up and goes, Mister, Mister. I go, what? <laughs> what? Is this what you killed? I'm like, they took a five-year-old girl and actually made her come out and do this to me. <laughs> and now when you're picking up five-year-old girls, that's just me. Oh my God. <laughs> so tonight we'll tell you a little tidbits about these guys. Or should I say, you know, um, now we have heard over the last 20 years, they all must be real because the guy always says at the end, true story. <laughs> to that I say, bullshit. <laughs> I think they lie beginning, middle, and the end. But to be fair, he will tell you just some of the stories and you can be the judge. Every year they come up with a new secret password. When one of them gets to here, to prevent cheating, they must call at least two of the other hunting buddies with the secret password so they can come help look for the trophy buck. The previous years, the passwords ranged from Chuck, Big Buck Down, or Come Quick, Fire and Silver. <laughs> Harmon, this is 
one's for your mama. Your mama is a really nice mama. He invited us so I can order John, a lot of people think we might be the famous TV crew. Well, they, have, they might have it all wrong. But they might have gotten away with that one. But I'm pretty sure they will be knocking on your door when they find Flight 370 at the bottom of Lake O'Gallagher. <laughs> <laughs> In closing, I'd like to say congratulations to all the past and present Boxer Nuts winners. Next up to speak will be Carl. This is Rick's son in law. <laughs> <laughs> Please align up the least of the worst. Speaking of the worst, Chuck, you remind me of a football team. You like play a lot, you never win. Obsession with dolls. 
Who is Chucky Pickles? <laughs> and what is your relationship with that person? <laughs> so vain that when him and Christine make love, they both finish with, oh, Chuck. <laughs>
recently, I read an article about depressed people that cut themselves with razor blades. <laughs> then it hit me. After 20 years of not winning a box or not contest, Chuck could not take it anymore. <laughs> if he couldn't have had, couldn't have the big box, he wasn't going to have the big box. <laughs> Sorry, Chuck. It's just no. too easy. <laughs>
think of it, he would be the only porcupine that had more pricks on the inside than the outside. <laughs> <laughs>